All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. This is the Kenny Irwin Jr. Memorial from I-55. It'll be a 40-lap A main tonight. If I would, please ask all the everyone to stand and remove your hats for the playing of tonight's national anthem. Oh, see, can you see by that one's early light what so proudly we hail? How the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. All the ramparts we watch were so gallantly sleeping, and the rockets were blown, the bombs bursting in air, they proved through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, All right, once again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in for round number 12 of the Rookie Series. This is the Kenny Irwin Jr. Memorial from I-55 Speedway. It will be a 40-lap A main tonight since this is a shorter track. We, are, we have sh just shy of five minutes left in practice here. track will be reset for qualifying then the rest of the remainder of the event will be carried out from there showing 11 cars making the call tonight so not quite a full field we're actually right around half half the pack should give us two heats tonight uh, barring nobody else coming in here in the next 10 minutes or so as we do have a five minute qualification five minutes two laps your fastest lap is what you are scored on right now you're at the top of the leaderboard is the 95 of Paul Covington second place is the two of Todd Holloway third is the 54 of Trevor Kuna fourth 
is the five of Aaron Rakowski. Sixth place, you got the 27 of Chad Pittenger. Seventh is the 602 of Kyle Rosak. Eighth is the 221 of 201 of Charles Mayo. Ninth, the seven of Luke Rakowski, and then rounding out the field for drivers that have taken their laps is that 274 of Cassie Roth. So those are the drivers that have taken a lap so far. Again, just three minutes left in qualifying. We did see some good racing here last time we were here. If I remember right, Aaron got out there, led the entire race, and ended up getting taken out with some incidental contact coming down to the checkered flag. Hopefully we'll have a cleaner finish tonight than what we had out there. Those of you that have missed it on the Facebook page for Thunder Racing League, we did do the schedule draw for season 3A. That will be Sunday nights, our 358s, and the 305 sprint cars. Monday nights will be midgets and limited late models. Wednesday night will be our challenge series which we cycle different cars every week for that series uh, that that will be the fixed series of Thunder Racing League will be the challenge series great things to watch there what we're doing there is that's pretty much put these drivers in all sorts of different cars and have them race it out for points and see who's pretty much the best all-round dirt track driver. So that'll definitely be an interesting series to watch come season 3A. That season starts September 18th. Everything else, the Sunday and Monday night shows are open set up. For those of you watching, I do have chat open. Uh, I will be able to see your messages if you message me. If I need to adjust some of the audio settings, please go ahead and let me know. I will see it. Uh, granted, it will be a little bit delayed. I will see it, though, and I will make those adjustments as you suggest. I I will go back and re-watch after the broadcast is over. But uh, as of right now, I can't hear myself. I can't hear the cars through the stream, anything like that. So, again, if you're watching the stream, go ahead and let me know if I need to make some adjustments to it. Um, this is <laughs> the Thunder Racing League TV's first live broadcast, as we did do one off of a recorded replay due to some issues getting the live stream up but that is the end of practice we are going to go ahead and start qualifying now <laughs> all right looks like our first car out on track will be aaron rakowski as let's see what his First lap at a 10-2-4-3, 10-2-4-3 for Aaron Rakowski. You got Rosek. All right, now everybody's starting to come in pretty quick, hot and heavy. You still got Rakowski out front with a 10 flat. You got the 54 of Trevor sitting second. The 27 of Chad Pittenger third. Fourth is Dylan Subert. Fifth. Todd Holloway, six. 
see here. Got people jumping around everywhere right now, so it's kind of hard to track and watch. Trying to see who else might be out on track. Not showing anybody popping up as of yet. So we are... We have nine drivers that have taken a time. Showing two more that should be taking time, according to who has signed in tonight. Uh, three minutes left to go. Three and a half minutes left to go in practice. Or in qualifying, excuse me. Uh, just, like I said, watching to see if we can get anybody to come up yet. I'm not seeing anybody. Not quite sure why it's showing black screen trying to get that fixed for you guys see if I can get something out here anyway for you to at least be able to see the track Still not getting anybody out on track yet. I think we just about got everybody qualified. Yeah, I know it's black. I'm I've hit the scenics, I've hit the all the buttons that I can to try to get them out of there. Try to make it so it's not a black screen for you guys. This is the first time I've seen that happen. Usually I get to at least watch the infield. Unfortunately, we do not have that tonight, so we get the ticker up top and wait to see if anybody else rolls out on track, which at this time, I'm not seeing anybody coming out yet. It'll be interesting to see if anybody can top Aaron tonight. He has been on fire all season long. Really hard to beat. Pretty much every time he has shown up to the track, he has won. He's been two races he showed up and has not found victory lane. So definitely keep your eye out for Aaron Rakowski. Charles Mayo has been really good this season. Pretty much everybody you see up there has made at least one trip this season to the podium. So I would not be... So nobody that we have signed in tonight would surprise me making it to the podium. Yeah. 15 seconds left in qualifying, and then we'll go ahead and start with the heat races. Heat one, it should be Aaron Rakowski. To his outside, it'll be the 54 of Trevor. Inside row number two will be the 33 of Dylan Suber. Outside of him will be the nine of Martin Duran Jr. And that's about as far as I could get on before it took my stuff away as we are going to go ahead and start lining the cars up now. And there you see the 33 of Schubert to his out... The car to his outside has not made the call yet. You got Aaron on the inside. Front row. Like I said, it was going to be Trevor to his outside. There's the 33 of Schubert. There we got the 9 of Martin Duran Jr. On that last row, the 602 of Kyle Rosek. And to his outside, it 
looks like... Not sure who that is. Now we're... Oh, what's going on with the uh, sim tonight? Why it's wanting to go black on me here. This is definitely something that I haven't had an issue with before. All right, let's see if we can see if this helps us as they do take the green flag. And Aaron out to an early lead. Coming down through one and two. Down on the three and four. Aaron easily walking away with it. Your battle right now is for third. As that's pretty well single file formation as well. Everybody's single file all the way through the field. Looks, oh, caution is out. Let's see what that caution may have been for. Ooh, looks like we just had one loop it by himself. Yeah, that 27. looped it all by himself out there you hate to see that especially in the heat everybody does make it directly from the a to or from the heat into the a main tonight So here we go, one lap to green. Pace truck will pull off. It will be on your leader, Aaron Rakowski. Pace truck dives, uh, not quite yet. Pace truck will dive off in three and four. Rakowski will then get on that loud pedal. There, he's on the loud pedal. And they're off single file formation once again. Really not much racing going on on the track whatsoever. It's all single file. We are five down, five to go. The battle for the lead is starting to heat up. Eyes are on that right now. You have the 54 tracking down Aaron. These are the two drivers that got into it last time we were here at I-55 in the feature. Let's hope we don't see it again. You got that 54 looking low. Trying to see if he can get a good run off. Looking for that grip on the low side. Slides up a little bit looking for it on the high side. Still can't quite get it. Got a little bit loose coming out of two. Takes the high line through three and four. Does not gain anything there. And that is the heat and a heat number one. Just as things were starting to heat up. All right. And now we'll go into heat number two. And you got the 201 of Charles Mayo starting on the inside to his outside. The 27 of Pittenger inside. The th road number two is the 33 of Luke Krakowski to his outside. The 02 of Todd Holloway starting on that third and final road of the inside. That is, I believe... We're looking at a 
15 on the inside? Maybe the 9. Okay. That is the 5. And to his outside is the 95. Paul Covington. Pace truck is off the field. Mayo stands on that loud pedal as they head down in turn one and two. Mayo out to an early lead, <coughs> but not letting, they're not letting him get away too far yet. The 27 load, staying right in his tire tracks. Now looking low down the back straightaway. Look into the high side, now dives down low. Cut diamond in the corner off a little bit. Right there on his bumper coming down the back straightaway. Come back into the field. See a little bit of a dive bomb move. And he's big time into the wall. Caution is out. Let's see if we can rewind that a little bit. And there you see it just dove down in there. Almost took out a couple cars. That is the O2 of Todd Holloway. I don't know if he couldn't stay on the brakes or what. Man, close to getting a couple cars there is he was trying to get this thing right and pointed in the right direction. Your leader is still the 201 of Charles Mayo. To his second is Chad Pittenger. Third is Luke Rakowski. Fourth is the five of Darren Harl. And then Paul Covington is fifth. Todd Holloway is off the racetrack. And he was able to come back out. Got his quick repair. He'll tag the end of the field. As the pace truck is off, Mayo on the hop loud pedal as he leads him down into one and two. Right now, though, it looks like he's back here towards the back for that third spot. As the five gets up in the wall, he gets slow. But he continues on. Mayo out. Definitely has company. 27 looks low. Not quite clear for the slide job. Tries it again. Slides up. Almost contact. Not quite. As they dive down into the turns three and one and two. 27 almost banks her off the boards. Dives down to the inside. Down the front straightway into one and two. That's two laps to go. Popsicle six are up. <coughs> three and four coming down to the white flag. Lap traffic stays down out of the way. 27, working that wall. 201, middle of the track. Maybe contact as they come down out of three and four. Checkered flag contact at the line. 201, barely edges out to 27 of Chad Pittenger. What a heat race finish that was. And that does conclude the heat race action for the 410 rookie series. <coughs> Excuse me, that was one heck of a finish there. As now we will come into the warm-up, which is for the three wide thunder. Thank you. here and they will get into a missing man three wide thunder thank you as this is the Kenny Irwin Jr. Memorial tonight takes these guys a little bit of time to get 
lined up here and get everything straightened out. It is a missing man formation tonight, guys. Give me a second here. I don't know if they can hear me. Missing man formation tonight. Maybe we're not doing the Missy Man tonight. So we will go ahead and make the regular call coming out of three and four. I have not made the call yet. I was trying to get a missing man. Oh, okay, okay. It's Kenny Irwin, but apparently I can't talk when I have their stuff turned off. I got you want me to change it or No, I'll go ahead and make the call now. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, here they come out of turn number four. They are three wide to tell each and every one of you thank you for the support and views. It's the three wide thunder. Thank you. Alright, now it is a feature time. Sorry about that little mix-up, guys. Apparently there's some stuff that I need to work on yet. So, but we are starting the A main. On the pole is the 5 of Aaron, uh, the 33 of Aaron Rakowski. To his outside is the 201 of Charles Mayo. Inside row number 2, the 54 of Trevor Kuna. To his outside should be the 27 of Chad Pittenger. There he is. Next will be the 33 of Dylan Schubert. To his outside will be the another 33. Uh, that is Luke Rakowski. Inside, row num starting seventh, or excuse me, yeah, starting seventh will be the nine of Martin Duran Jr. To his outside, the 95 of Paul Covington. Inside row number five. Rolling off ninth is the 602 of Kyle Rozak. To Rozak's outside is the 02 of Todd Holloway. And in rounding out the field, you have the 274 of Cassie Roth, which may not have made the call. And to the five. Of Darren Harl. Those are your 11 starters, it appears tonight. As we do, got the one to green. We will go back up front to watch Aaron. Aaron definitely giving that pace car plenty of room, making sure he decides when to start this race. Base truck is off. Aaron on the loud pedal. Off to a great start. Down into one and two. The race. Oh, there's contact. A little bit of contact further in the field. They're still wrecking back there. Looked like the 95 involved in that. Uh, several different cars. Now there we see what... Brought out the actual caution was the 95 getting up into the wall himself. There was other contact further in front of him. 
let me see if I can find the other cars. It looked like the 27. Yeah, 27, 201 got into the wall. They kept going. That 95 got in the wall himself, looped it around, and that is what brought out the caution. Everybody else was able to keep going with all that heavy contact. Not going to say they are unscathed, because I'm sure that hard of contact, they are not. Rookie series, they are single file restarts. Aaron will lead them to the line. Aaron way up high on the cloud pedal and again off to an amazing start. As the race right now is for second between the 54 and the 27. 54 easily away from that. And right now looks like even more battling further in the back. Not well, you see the 54 reeling in air in a little bit. Not. 54 is not leaving the 27. 27 looking low. 54 of Kunin in the wall. 27 got, takes that second position. Now he's going to try to track down the leader of Aaron Rakowski. This right here is the battle for the lead. We are seeing a couple other battles on the track. And the caution is once again out. And once again, it looks like Charles Mayo involved in some contact. This time it looks like Charles went to check up. When he checked up, it pulled that car to the inside. And 95, nowhere to go. And once again, getting involved in another incident for that 95. You hate to see that. It's a tough night. If he hadn't had any luck... And if it wasn't for bad luck tonight, Paul wouldn't have any luck at all tonight. We are seven down. 33 to go. If I'm doing that math right. Math was not my strong suit. Never has been, probably never will be. We are again one to go. See what Aaron does here. Pace truck is off. Gonna bring him into your living room for this restart. And Aaron once again on the lap pedal. You see him all nice and behaved. Yes, here they go, Aaron, off to a nice little lead. The battle right now is a little bit further back, the 54. And I'm not sure who that is. The 27 in the wall, 54 into it. Oh, he's straightened out. Oh, contact again. Everybody's still 360, and he keeps going. No caution. Somehow, everybody kept going on that. There you see Aaron still out to a big lead. Looks like the battle right now. The hottest one for second place. It looks like the 33 of Luke Rakowski. No, that is the 33 of Schubert. But now the 27 of Pittenger has caught the leader. <coughs> what will Pittenger do with Rakowski? Pittenger down low. Or Schubert down low. Gets clear of the 27. Now he's down low. It's the battle of the 33s. You got Rakowski and Schubert side by side for the lead. Schubert on the inside, Rakowski on the outside as they battle down into the turn. One more time, up out of three and four. To the line, Rakowski still leads that one. Down into one and two, down a back straightaway. 
the 27. Coming to take a look to the high side. It's a three car battle for the lead. You got them low. You got them high. You got them in the middle. And the 27 gets loose. Loses all that ground. Two spots. Three spots. The battle. Still between the 33s of Rakowski, Aaron Rakowski, and Schubert. Martin Duran Jr. looking to make his way in here. Everybody pretty well slow rolling the bottom. They're looking for grip anywhere they can get it. Rakowski's getting ready to have to deal with lap traffic. How is lap traffic going to handle it? You got one car. Way down out of the way. Here is Five. He stays down out of the way. Gives the leaders the top group. Schubert now having to fight off <coughs> Duran as they work around the five. Oh, there's a car in the wall right in front of the leaders. He keeps going. No caution. That could have been bad for the leaders. As everybody stays under green, we keep going. 33 of Schubert, the 27 of, or excuse me, the 9 of Duran, still trying to track down that leader of Rakowski. 15 laps to go. Rakowski still in heavy traffic. You see them battling in front of him. They're side by side in contact right in front of the leader. They're too wide in front of the leader. Where is Rakowski going to go? Aaron. Taking his time. He's got a over a one second lead. He looks through the middle looking to thread the needle. Doesn't like it. Decides to back off. Two, a little bit loose. Aaron checks up. That allows the lap car to get back by. It allows Schubert to close back in. Right there on his bumper. Schubert. Looking to the high side. Around lap traffic. Aaron. Lap car between him, himself and second place. That's what he wants to see. Right now they are st oh caution is out once again. That looks like the 54 just got in the wall himself. Ended up looping it. Apparently I racing didn't like how slow he ended up getting. <coughs> so it threw the caution. That will get your leader out of lap traffic. It will also bring the rest of the lap cars to his bumper. Aaron had lapped up to sixth position to that point. Again, Aaron, once again, very hard to beat out there tonight. Once again, Aaron off to an early lead. The battle right now, though, is for second between Schubert and Martin. Martin looking low as Schubert. Trying to slow roll that bottom. He's to his inside. Can he get clear? Seven laps to go. Martin slow rolling the bottom. It's dangerous down there, as you can easily get the wall in. It looks like Martine may have. To Martine's outside. Here comes Daddy Luke Rakowski to the outside of Martine. He 
he's trying to make the Rakowski, two Rick, both Rakowskis up onto the podium. As he, he grabs some grip up there off that cushion, <coughs> gets alongside, now clears Martin Duran. Luke, now gonna set sail. Gonna try to chase down that 33 of Schubert. You got 33, 33, 33, top three. Three 33s in the top three. It is the night of threes with two laps to go. Will Martin be able to spoil the 33 show as he's gonna dive down low a loop. Aaron, one lap to go. He's well up front. This is a battle right now. Martin trying to put a slider on Luke. Didn't have it. Slow roll into bottom. Luke trying to get, oh, contact. Man, 95 just seen that as they were coming across the line. It looks like it is gonna be Aaron Rakowski, Martin Duran, and Luke Rakowski for your top three. We will go back, see if we can figure out what happened to that 95. And yeah, 95 just straight up into the wall. Came down. Man. That wing of Charles. Wings, tires everywhere. Man, that is not what you like to see at all as we should have the have them lining up here yes there are your top three all right we will go ahead and start pulling them in yeah Aaron out there doing donuts all right let's go ahead and pull in the winner Aaron Rakowski you got a job Got a copy out there doing donuts. Yes, sir. Man, walk us through that dominating race. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It was just, I came in and practice. I came from a friend's house. I didn't really practice at all. Uh, I kind of got into the race and just said whatever happens, happens. Um, you know, from the last time we were at this track, I kind of wasn't as confident as I usually was, but you know, you just gotta stick to my race, don't worry about anybody else, and I guess I came out on top. Yeah, definitely came out on top. Uh, any sponsors, shout out, anybody you wanna thank? Uh, definitely my dad, because he, you know, without him I wouldn't be here, and uh, he actually got his first podium tonight, so congrats to him. Uh, Y'all for broadcasting, uh, I really like watching the broadcast on my free time. Uh, you for putting on this league, you know, it's a great league, I love racing with these guys. And uh, I think that's it. All right. Got to pull up the schedule here. I don't, uh, <laughs> I'm getting old. I don't have the memory I once did. So I got to see where we're going to next week, which is Cedar Lake. How do you feel like you're going to do at Cedar Lake? Cedar Lake. Um, I don't know. Um, I like Cedar Lake. It's a good track. Um, but I just don't know. Whatever happens is going to happen. I don't actually, I'm not going to be here next week. Oh, you're not gonna be here next week. No, I'm going to Le I'm going to Legoland with one of my friends for a couple of days. Oh, all right, that's uh, definitely fun. I know I enjoy taking my kids there. Yep. So. Yeah, definitely fun for children of all ages. Um, just when you get to be a child about my age, it's better if you got someone around Aaron's age to go with you, and people don't look at you as weird. But uh, <laughs> it's always fun. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is, is going to be my first time going, so I can't wait. Yeah, definitely enjoy it. Um, that's my advice to you. So, right, <laughs> Congratulations I'm on the win, as as I can. All right. Well, congratulations, and uh, definitely look looking forward to talking to you again. Hey, you too. All right, that was your winner. The 33RR of Aaron Rakowski.
Coming home second was the 27 of Martin Duran Jr. Martin, you got a copy. Got a copy, Martin? Got a copy? You're, uh, I can't hear what you're saying, Jay. Um, but I see your little name flashing up on Discord. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah, I can hear you. I don't know why you can't hear me. Uh, let's see here. I'll try to move you out and move you back in. How about now? Can you? Can I? I can hear you. I don't know if you can hear me. Hello. Yet. Hold on. Let's uh, hmm. see if we can try. What's going on here? All right. Tried moving you out and back in. Do you have a copy now? I do. All right. I don't know what that was, but I could hear you. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. So, Martin, second place finish tonight. Walk us through your night. Well, it's been a busy day and didn't really get a chance to get any practice in, but uh, just jumped in in time for uh, qualifying and then basically just tried to survive as I learned the track and the car and uh, the setup on here. And uh, thankfully, it, it worked out my way in the future. Yeah, that uh, 95 taking out the uh, one of the 333s on track. It was uh, 33s up front for a little while there with you trying to spoil it. But uh, 95 coming down and taking out Schubert. Um, you think you'd have been able to get around Schubert if that wouldn't have happened, or? Uh, well, not right there, because I think that was right there, the finish. But uh, if we had five more laps, it would have been tough. Um, so I was on the bottom, and it was going good for me, and then Luke passed me on the outside, so I moved on up and and finally got around him. And uh, and looked like Dylan was running a little bit lower, so I, I think I could have maybe got around him, but. After that, I don't know. Aaron's Aaron's real fast. So I don't know if I, about him. Yeah, I mean, without a restart, I don't know if anybody could have caught Aaron. He's he seems to come out here and check out every night. So yeah, I mean, yeah, Aaron's definitely a tough one to beat. Any sponsor shout outs? Anybody you want to thank for getting here tonight? Uh, just uh, Duran Racing and uh, and then my wife for letting me uh, get on and do this hobby and and then for. Uh, you guys there at Thunder putting on the league and you again for broadcasting tonight. Really appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. I need to get some bugs worked out because uh, season 3A, that's 59 races that these guys are going to be hearing my voice. So I got to definitely get some bugs worked out and get everything smoothed over the best I can. But uh, hopefully we can get it done. Rolling on to Cedar Lake next week. How do you feel like you're going to do there? I really like that track, but like I said, I used to do all the Fender cars, so I've never been on there and nothing but Fender cars. So we'll have to see how that goes. It's a whole different story on these on these sprint cars for sure. Yeah, definitely a different monster in these wing sprint cars. A lot more downforce than any other dirt car there is, even compared to their other open wheel brethren. They they have a lot more downforce, so Yeah, for sure. Um these wing sprint cars are definitely a different beast, but all right. Well, I think that pretty well wraps it up for you. Um, again, that was second place finishing Martin Duran Jr. <clears throat> and lastly, we will bring in the 33 of Luke Rakowski. You got a copy, Luke. What's going on, Jay? Not much. I first time talking to you. This is like super exciting. I'm like, man, I get to talk. I was thinking, man, I just want to talk to Jay. This is so cool. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, my first live broadcast, and you get your first podium. So, this is a good night then. Yeah, definitely a good night. Hope well. We'll see. I might have ruined it, but <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll make sure to watch it after. I'm sure you did fine. Yeah, I don't think there's quite the ums there were in the replay of the uh, Memorial Day race i mean there there goes one but <laughs> definitely something that i'm working on right there is trying to cut those down a little bit so you, you gotta us, move you gotta go quick the brain's got to move pretty quick to uh, you know to broadcast it's not easy yeah absolutely and i 
during the races that there's no ums there. It, the action's <laughs> happening so quick that I just mm-hmm. say, I just talk about what I'm seeing and there ain't no, uh, nothing to think about. So, right. <laughs> All right. Walk us through your night and how you ended up with that third place in your first podium. Um, there's an um, there you go. I, I honestly don't know how I ended up with third place. Uh, I, I did, I did practice a little bit. I went out and I ran some laps. I did a lot of practice on like a slick track because, um, as Aaron would say, I just don't have what it takes to run the top. And he's right. It's probably my weak point, but you know, trying to work on running the cushion and, and trying to figure out, you know, the throttle and trying to, you know, keep it straight and hit the, you know, hit it up there and get the drive off. And, you know, I, I was, I was hitting it pretty good there at the end. I was being consistent, you know, I felt pretty good. And then, you know, with two to go or whatever, you know, my team was right there and we we're having a good battle. I, I, I got out on him a little bit. And then with two to go, I, uh, I just, I just got a little, honestly, I got nervous because I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in, I'm in third. I, can I keep it? And, and I ended up spinning the tires coming out of four and I had to chuck up a little bounce off the wall. He got by me. And so I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with the top five. It's been kind of, you know, the points don't really reflect it. I feel like I've been kind of struggling a little bit. Um, and, and I honestly, I can't begin to tell you how I got third. I don't know. I come off before. I'm trying to make, keep the car straight. I'm trying to keep it going. And, and there's, there's, there's a debacle in front of me or something. And, and yeah, I just the, was like, uh... you know what? I'm going to hammer down and we're going to see what happens. And I'm looking at the, the results. I'm like, dude, I got third. Aaron's like, you got third. I'm like, yeah, I got third. I don't know how, but I got third. <laughs> yeah. What ended up happening there? Um, the 95 of Covington, it looked like something broke or something, but he took a hard right into the turn four wall coming down to the checkered flag. When he bounced off, he collected the, the other 33 of Schubert and pretty well took him out. So, Unfortunate well, uh, for him because he had a good car all night as well. Led, he was up there battling with Aaron and mm-hmm. you guys all night. So, yeah, it you was. Hate uh, to see you know, that, you, but... you you do. You hate to see a you know a finish. You know, you hate. To, I I I enjoy the podium. I enjoy being up here. I'm so glad I got third. It just I, I don't want to get third based on that. You know what I mean? It's just you know oh, if yeah. I was gonna be fourth or fifth or wherever I was gonna be end up, I was you know I made a mistake and you know, coming out of the corner and I, you know, where I was going to finish, I was going to finish, but um, I'll take it. You know, it's, it's still, it's still a podium. So. Absolutely. All right. So next week we roll on to Cedar Lake. Aaron said he gets to go enjoy Lego land. Mm-hmm. Uh, you going to be here with us? Yeah, I'll be here. All right. How did you feel rolling into Cedar Lake? Uh, I don't know. It's been a while since I, I've, you know, done any, any laps on Cedar Lake in any sort of car, you know, due to the kids real life racing at summer and you got family things going on. I don't really get on the sim much anymore. Um, you know, I'll practice a little bit or some, sometimes like, like Aaron and I do, we don't, we don't touch the sim in, in between Sunday and Sunday. So um, I, I don't know. I, I like Cedar Lake. I like the fact that um, it's, it, it's, it's a pretty racy track so you can run, you know, you, you can run a little bit multiple lines, and if you if you hit the bottom right, you know, as a track, you know, kinds of wears in it. It can be pretty fast, and and you know, but I think you know, being able to, as usual, if you can run the top and you can be you know decent up there, um, you know, there's a better chance of success. But it, it is a pretty racy track, so you know, I'm looking forward to it. I, I do like running it. I just I can't I can't tell you how I'm gonna do. We're just gonna go into it like we always do, and and try not to be the problem and you know if there's a problem you know try not to be that guy and you know just have a good finish yeah i definitely uh get that uh sponsors shout outs anybody you want to thank yeah well i gotta thank i gotta thank aaron for pushing me every time around the track because you know having your now 11 year old his birthday was the uh 27th of june you know having him push you on the track and having your 10, 11 year old tell you that you don't have what it takes to run the question really kind of gets you to uh, <laughs> kind of try to step your game up. But uh, I got to thank, I got to thank our, our, um, our iRacing team. I got to thank uh, T Berry Motorsports and all the guys over there. Um, they, they've really helped, helped us, you know, running laps and practice sessions and stuff. And it's really, it's really good to, to be able to have guys to bounce ideas off of um, the guys over SSR, their tools that they have over there and the, 
the instructional stuff is really helping me, you know, kind of stop worrying so much about setup stuff and just worrying about reading the track and driving what the track gives you. Uh, so that helps, um, you know, fix setup league. It's, it's still, you know, it's, it's, it's nice cause it's, you can out adjust yourself. So here I just kind of read track. So, and then, you know, all the guy, all the people who help us out in a real life race and I can't, you know, we can't not give them props. So we got, just thanks to Mills Race Fabrication, GoFastGirls.com, More to Music Entertainment, All Brand Cleaners and Sewing Center, LLC, DH Graphics, Five Star Racewear, Dealing with People Photography, and DNS Equipment Repair. So they help us out all you know in the real life, and and it, it enables us to to do both. You know, it's either it's you know without them, it'd be hard to you know have have the equipment that we have to be on the sim, and you know it's hard to do both. You know it's it's yeah. you know racing is expensive no matter what, whether it's whether it's sim racing or real life racing, the, the costs add up quick. So having those people help us out really allows us to do both. So big big shout out to them. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, good luck slowing those carts down. <laughs> you said, yeah, that was uh, that's an interesting conversation for uh, an off off broadcast another time. But yeah, but thank you for for stepping out and um and doing the broadcast. And I'm sure you did a great job. And thanks to you guys for putting the league on and everyone who helps out and does RC and you know has to deal with the the stuff afterwards. I've been there and uh, dealing with all the messages and everything. It's it's not easy, and you guys do a good job. So I uh, I appreciate it. Well, I greatly appreciate it, and hopefully with us adding. Fendered cars for season 3A. We can see more of those T-Berry motorsports cars because I know most of those guys are late models and modified drivers anyway. So, Yeah, it's um, it's funny because, you know, I think as uh, right now, as far as I know, I think Aaron and I are the only guys who run in the tumble buggies. They're not really popular amongst the guys that we usually run with. So, um, you know, we, we ran it. You know, I was like, Aaron, you want to run something different? And the league showed up, and it's been it's been a lot of fun. So I really appreciate you guys doing this. Absolutely. And I'd like to think that we run it better than a certain Wednesday night league that isn't around anymore. So <laughs> <clears throat> I have nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you have a wonderful night. We got to get ready to uh, go pro series racing here in just a few minutes. So. Well, that'll be that'll be good. I, I'm 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 certain at some point I'll be running like still be running rookies and everyone will be up there in pros. But hopefully we can still run. Well, uh, unfortunately with the uh, season three A, it's all okay, it's combined. It's combined. Yep, it's combined again, and it's oh that'll be great. That'll so, be a great learning experience. I mean that it's still fifty nine races. Um, for those of you watching, I know four four viewers live right now, but guys, ten dollars you get fifty nine races. I mean, I don't know any other league that charges an entry fee that you get 59 races for 10 bucks. And it just all sorts of all different, you know, uh, classes of cars. If you really want to yeah. work on, you know, your anything you want to work on and as far as your driving or, you know, it's going to be really good. It's going to be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to it. Um, Likewise. I mean, I'll, I'll be doing this is where I'll be for season 3A, but I'm all right with that. I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to the change of pace. So, Oh, I appreciate you. Appreciate you doing it. All right. Well, take it easy, and I'm sure we will be talking to you again, Luke. Well, I hope so, but nothing's guaranteed, but I appreciate it. <laughs> all right. See you, Jay. See ya. All right, that was your third-place finisher, Luke Rakowski. Um Again, guys, I want to thank everybody for watching. I will end this stream. We will be bringing back the Pro Series stream here. Oh, we'll say about 15 minutes. We'll be back live with the Pro Series. We do want to thank everybody for watching, whether you're watching live or if you're watching the replay of it. I want to thank you guys for watching and we will